uh, good morning. It's uh, Sunday, 16th of March, <clears throat> and uh, this morning we're up in Lochish. Today's objective is going to be Scoremore, and uh, we're going to go over by boat. <clears throat> I'm up here this morning with Ali, Dave. Dave's got a boat, and uh, Brian, so there's four of uh, out for today. And uh, we're going to do Scoremore, which is <clears throat> this one over here. And then we'll cut down the Bielak and up to the Corbett here, Skirn and Furin or something. And then we'll come back to the boat and come across. But conditions at the moment are looking superb. As I say, it's a cracking morning. Very, very light breeze. Uh, the forecast is not too bad for the morning. I think it's getting a bit worse as the day goes on, so we'll try and nick her and get up to the summit. Well, it's clear anyway. But the drive up there this morning was great, fantastic. Rannoch Murna into Glen Cove was absolutely beautiful and even the bend was looking beautiful this morning. Just absolutely stunning in these conditions. So as I said, we've passed a few stag <laughs> and we're up there as well, which is always nice to see. So we're just getting our gear together and uh, we're going to head off. Shouldn't be too long going across the loch and uh, maybe a maximum of six hours up and down and then back across. And We're just up for the day. Ali was staying here last night, but uh, we are just up for the day, so the quicker we get back, it's a four and a half hour journey back, so if we can get back over Sharpish, uh, that would be great. The man handled the boat down to the shoreline. So we'll just uh, we're just walking down, uh, and we'll get it set up down there, ready for the launch. Quite excited about this next wee adventure. <laughs> You're all right, you just go. I know, just <laughs> false alarm. <laughs> Aye, okay then. Frank, you've more experience on the engines. You want to come out back to me? I'll go to the back then. I'll be Dave. Right. Yeah, so it's across now. How long did that take, Dave? Sailing across about. I'd say about 20 minutes. I was yeah. taking it easy where we yeah. were drone. I was just uh, 20 minutes, so good going. 
four handled it nearby the So they get <sighs> Yeah, so that's so it's got the kind of boat safely tucked away and uh, we're just about ready to rock and roll so we reckon what well, maybe six hours max up and down hopefully anyway Aye. and uh, we'll see what the crossing's like coming back last ferry leaves at five o'clock so we need to be back for the NI the lady views back there across the lochy a couple of men rows up there can't remember the name of them and then other ones just hidden around the corner there and that that in the background is uh, the Glen Shield 7 on the south side. Beautiful. And uh, your target's up there somewhere. We're just going to kind of walk up to that wee shed bit and then up back. <clears throat> yeah, that's the way I was thinking. Yeah, so we've just been handrailing this wee gorge up. Full of waterfalls and wee rock pools. Wee kind of flinch pools. We're off obviously the, the main path now, just kind of heather bashing a bit. Just heading up for that bealach there. And then up to the right. Warm work for the same. Yeah. So, we'll just keep moving on. So that's the views back again. That's where the cars are parked. Just a that beacon of forest in there. Just skirted around the wee islands in the boat. And across. Here's what carpet we're going to do after this one. And the views are around Ben Nevis. Way in the background, a wee bit of cloud on it now. Yeah, I think we're nearly there. No far to go now. That's up there in the distance. Whew. Ah, this is lovely though. Wee bit of shelter. Hard packed snow. And the views. That's scary. Back there, the last one there. Would have snowed it. You're doing the Ronnie Corbett as well? I did it earlier. Have you done it? Aye. Aye, it's we're going to do it in the way back. Aye. Yeah, so that was just shy of three hours getting up to this one. A lot quicker going back then, obviously. But, uh, not going to lie, it was a wee bit of a slog that one. Not feeling it. Whoa! Yeah, breezy up here. We'll find a wee bit of shelter and we'll get a wee bite to eat. 
Yeah, so as I said, the views for up here are absolutely astounding. We've got Loch Keish running right up here to the end. Another beacon of locking over there. And then, as I say, the three main roads here, which I did uh, last year. Just stunning. All the way around. The bend away in the distance, covered in cloud now. And that's the view back to the the Corbett we're going to go... No, that's Garrick away over there, aye. Uh, the Corbett's just behind that there. Aye. And over this way, we're looking into Contail. Or the Munro's over that way. And again, these two Munro's here. And then that, that one over here, I'll put the name up as well. So see, I can't remember the names of them all. I'll put them up. But this is fabulous. I think Dave's found a wee shelter spot down there, so we'll go down, get a wee bite to eat, recharge your batteries. Yeah, heading down to that wee bit, Dave's found a spot down there, Ali. Quarter past two. Eh? Oh, aye. I'll be a lot quicker going down, Dave. Aye. A lot easier. I oh, know. Just breathtaking. And that's the Sky Coolins away in the background. Ben Screel over there as well. I think that's uh, maybe a Lar Wren away there, aye. Yeah, so it's so, us, uh, we've been watering and fed now. So we're just, uh, just shy of the summit, we'll go up by the summit, pick up my poles. And then we'll head across to the Corbett now, get that done. Come to the side that the things that I tried were in my life just to get high on. When I sit alone, come get a little known. This time. Step from the road to the sea to the sky And I do believe that we rely on When I lay it on, come get to play it on All my life to sacrifice Hey, oh, listen what I say, oh I got your hey, oh Now listen what I say, oh When will I know that I really can Yeah, so this is us starting the ascent now for the Corbett. Scour and furring, something like that. Just a nice kind of gradual ascent now. And that's basically where we've come down from. Scour and sheesh, straight through the middle there, the background. Yeah. Ah, it's the boys just up ahead. So that's the views back. We're up uh, a fair wee bit on this Corbett now. That's the 
get back to the first one. Wheels run. And that's the boys up there. Yeah. Had to deal there a wee bit there. Cooking. Four layers on. Not four layers on for years. So had to take the down jacket off. So that was uh, 4 hours 40 to get to this one and we're journey up here so we're just going to head down now get down to the boat, get across the loch Aye, so this is the way down just in, just in this kind of shoulder and I think we, we branched round to the right yeah, that's us just come down for up there somewhere oh, it's a sandy path here you're just kind of heather bashing, quite boggy and uh, that's a corbett up there and score more up that way, that way at the back that's the way we went up this morning that was a better way coming back, just up over that uh, corbett and down this way so we'll soon be on the kind of half decent Land Rover track down here that we used this morning and then it's good walking for there all the way down Ali and Brian I don't know, they branched off away up there somewhere. So they took a diff totally different route for me and Dave. And they're ahead of us in a. So we'll get down here, get a boat, ship shape, and look across the loch. Aye, so that's us back in the boat now, ready for a launch, just across the other side. So we're just going to head straight across and then we'll just hug the, the shoreline up. That's the plan anyway. The wind, have a, the wind might have another idea, but that's where we're going to head for aye. All aboard the Skylark. Aye. Right, let's get HMS Banger in the water. 